Hi guys, this is Lori with Ellen's Crafty Creations and I have a super fun project share and tutorial to share with you. Um, this is my photo play cake panda party album. I think that's what it's called. Um, really adorable collection. I loved working with it. It was so fun. Um, I've done something a little different with this album and if you saw my sneak peek pictures on uh, Facebook you know already that this is kind of like a journal mixed with a mini album and I did some like traditional scrapbook layouts as well and it just I really love how it turned out so on the front here what I've done is I actually made the background um, I took my dilutions paints and I'll give you the colors and all of that in the tutorial but I used these and I made my little background here I used the blue and the um, green and then I also had bought a bamboo stencil on Amazon actually and that's where this comes in so I did that I have some bling on a roll around here this right here is the bow bunny double dot cardstock and then I have the cut apart in the middle um, I was going to do like a ribbon closure um, but I just haven't added it yet so that's what the hole is for here and there's one on the back as well to do a closure and then on the spine I did this gorgeous velvet trim and I actually um, got that at my local scrapbook store um, no I got it at Hobby Lobby um, so the what do you call these <laughs> the twine you see here is for the signatures that are inside the book so I'll show you that shortly and then on the back I just did the cute polka dot paper and I just thought it was so cute so on the inside what we have is let me zoom it out just a tiny bit there we go try not to get my shirt in the frame um, I've put this, um, the, the collection came with a sheet of paper that had four squares in it that you could cut apart. So this is one of those squares and I just added this seam binding that Tamara sent to me um, from the store that matched perfectly with this collection. This is a little sticker and then here you can put your birthday here or whoever you're giving this to and then it's just a little booklet. Here what I have done is I've taken my paints again and I've inked around the edges. This is actually um, mixed media journaling paper and I've stamped, let me show you, I used the stamps from the collection. They are so cute and really fun to work with. So I've stamped all around the paint and then did a panda here and then party like a panda right there. And on the inside I just did various things. Um, these were the stamps from the collection. These I had actually stamped and then cut them out and I left them in the black and white. On this page I had some extra of the belt used on the spine so I punched out hearts and stuck those here and I've also, I don't think you can tell, I've done some spraying here with my uh, sprays. So and here is where that twine comes in that's on you see on the spine. All I did is I slipped these papers underneath this twine. So if you don't like them, you can just take them out. And so that's really convenient. And then you can also add things too if you want. You know, if you had this booklet and had photos in it, in it and wanted to add it here, you would just lift this up and add it here and it will stay. So I thought that was really cute. So, and then it just continues again, inking, stamping, and then again I did the pause on this side. So here is where it gets into the album. I did traditional scrapbook layouts in this book and I really like the way it turned out. Um, so what I would do is I took a, a generic background and then I would layer on top of it. Now here I've used, um, you've seen me use these before, I like to use my Kiwi Lane templates and that's what these are and I just, this is probably not the right one so it's not going to match up but anyway you get the idea I just trace it and cut it out. Now if you don't have these, you don't have to have these all you have to do is just draw a squiggly line and cut it out, you know, on both sides. So super easy. 
um, and there's two borders layered here together and then I just did a strip of black on the end these are stickers from the collection some seam binding and then I have a little cut apart tucked behind the photo mat so this page turns and there's a pocket here again the bow bunny paper here and on the pocket I layered some of this, the um, design paper here two stickers another booklet with a cut apart and then Tamara had sent me the graphic 45 tags and I covered them in paper on one side and left them blank on the other and then added the seam binding and this beautiful um, polka dot ribbon so I have those in every single pocket in the album here again I did um, like a scrapbook layout and I added these 2 by 2 inch squares and then I just stuck stickers on top of them and then so you would have more photo real estate I added this here and this just comes undone and it just folds out so you could put three photos there and then another one there and you can even put a photo right there if you wanted so that way you get more than just one picture even though you have a traditional looking scrapbook layout and I really like how that turned out and then in the pocket here again I've done scrapbook layouts I used my templates here to cut this and this one and then I just added a strip at the top this is um, a sticker and then I added my photo mat and then I punched out some hearts using some heart punches that I have and then on the opposite side I did a photo mat and I only had scraps left when I was doing these so I just layered my scraps in different places I used the stamp on this one and stamped around it and then this is a stamp this is some twine and this is actually a Stampin' Up! punch, balloon punch. So I thought that turned out really cute. So there's that. And then, let's see, it opens up this way. And again, another kind of traditional um, scrapbook layout. Sorry, let me just adjust this just a tiny bit. Okay don't want to make y'all dizzy so here again I've done stickers some little borders here more stickers and then these swing tags just come down and there's a place for three photos and then if you don't like the cut apart because there's really two that say happy birthday you could cover one up with a photo or both if you want and then this one does the same for landscape photos really cute my swing tabs, everyone always asks me, I make my swing tabs myself out of chipboard using the Tim Holtz Tiny Tags and Tabs die. It's my favorite, and I just punch a bunch of them out at a time, and I always have them handy. And I always just cover them in paper. Super easy. So again, on this side, we have another pocket, a sticker here, a uh, booklet with a cut apart, and then two more photo mats. Let me take this out so you can see that cute panda paper. It's just adorable. And then we go back into the journaling piece. Here I did some lines um, on the book, and I have a little panda there. There's hearts stamped all around. And so this is actually what we'll be making together, this page assembly. So there's only two of these in this book. So this just flips. Again, I took my stencil and I just colored it in with a pen, like a Sharpie pen, instead of the ink another stamp the paws, a panda here I did the hearts that came with the stamp collection and then here I just punched out stars um, with my star punch and then this is a stamp from the collection here's another layout again another one of those um, four by, are they four by? no they would have been larger than that six, they're six by six squares that came with the collection um, some stickers and then I have another graphic 45 tag stuck in here for another photo this turns and this page kind of turned out a little crazy it's got all kinds of things going on here I have two photo mats stickers some bling on a roll um, just some layering of some scraps more stickers here and then I have tags that pull out of the top that you could journal on or on this one you could place a photo if you wanted and then in the pocket 
I made this photo mat, and again I did the two by two squares. And then on the other side, I just layered up the strips of the paper that I had left and added two of the pandas stamped. It turned out really cute. Turn this over. Again, a pocket. Um, uh, I have a sticker there, the two photo mats. And then here, I did just some layering of some um, design paper, the two suckers. Cute. More seam binding. And then here I just have two more of the photo mats. And then you have the last set of the journaling pages. So I've again I've stamped around it with the hearts. And then I did the bamboo on this side and the pandas. Here I used a different stamp collection. Um, this is uh, one of the Dilusions stamps, the flower and stem stamps. And then here I did um, the panda and then again with the bamboo that was my favorite thing to do was the bamboo I thought it was so cute and then I just left this plane where you could do a photo or you could actually do another scrapbook layout on here and it would look really cute so that's it that's all the book and look how it's pretty thick if you chose not to add um, the little signatures that I added then you know you could just leave those out and it would be just fine and you could probably add another one of these page assemblies instead if that's what you would rather do. So let's get started with how to make this. And I feel like my camera is not centered there. That's a little better. So I am going to do one using a different collection that's going to be a fall collection so I chose to go with the red here. And my computer is going a little crazy. There we go. So I've already gotten it started. I forget which collection this is, but when I'm done with it, I'll do another review on my channel of it. And um, so I've already kind of started decorating it, but I have the page assembly here. And that's what we'll be making. And it's basically the same on all the sides. So, what we're going to start with is, for the base pages, we need two pieces at eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Right? Let me just make sure that I know what I'm talking about, because sometimes I don't. Oh, here it is. Good grief, I'm just losing it. Okay, well, I said two pieces because this is for both page assemblies. I've already made one of the page assemblies, so this is, um, we're just going to make one together because they're the same. So two pieces by eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter, which is what this is. And then you're going to want to make your base page, your pocket page to go on it. And so that you're going to need two cut at eight and a quarter by nine and a quarter. You're going to score on the nine and a quarter inch side at half an inch on each end. And fold on your score lines and burnish. And I'm going to add my glue to this piece. And I only do one side at a time. I'm going to stick this down on top of the eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter piece, just like, and make a base page, just like I do on all my albums. I hope y'all can see this on the red. I didn't want to recut it in a different color. Um, but I think you should. It's a simple enough album that you should be able to see. I'm going to add my glue up here at the top. And glue it down. Oh, 
Oops. And there's my base page. Okay. So now we're going to add our flaps. So you're going to need to cut four flaps if you do two page assemblies at eight and a quarter by eight and three quarters. So score on the eight and three quarter of an inch side at half an inch. So for each page assembly, you'll have to have two of these flaps. So I'm going to fold on my score line and burnish, and then I'm going to miter my corners. And I'm going to add my glue here. Whoops. And I'm going to stick it in with the glue up inside my base page and stick it down. Make sure you don't go over your score line. And to make sure I don't do that, I like to fold it in and then burnish it. So this is what you have. Now flip this over this way. Okay, you're going to add the other one on this side. So here is the second one. I'm going to fold on my score line and burnish. And then I'm going to miter the corners. And again, I'm going to add it on the inside. And I'm going to add it with the glue side up on the right hand side of the base page and fold it over. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is on the first page assembly Let's see, I added the pocket. You can add the pocket on whatever flap you want. So on the first one, I added a pocket on the inside here, and then on the very back. So that's what we'll go ahead and do. So. I'm going to go ahead, oh, the pockets are cut to 9 and an eighth by 3 and 3 quarters, and you're going to score on the 9 and 1 eighth inch side at half an inch on each end, and then also on the 3 and 3 quarter inch side at half an inch. And then I'm just going to miter my corners and fold on my score lines and burnish. Okay, and I'm going to add it right here. And you're going to line it up all the way on the left hand side. So you should have a, a, about an eighth of an inch gap right here on this side. And I'll show you that up close in case you can't see it. There's my eighth of an inch gap between my pocket and my score line. That just allows your um, page to fold without the pocket creases getting in the way. That's why I do that. So now I'm going to add the other pocket. It's the exact same size as this one. So I'm going to add it on the very back. Again, these pockets you can add anywhere you want. On any flap. And you can add more than what I'm adding if you wanted to. So I'm just going to fold on my score lines and burnish.
I'm using my favorite glue ever, the Art Glitter Glue. You can find this at Tamara's store, as well as all of the supplies that I use to make this album, except for like the Dilutions paint. She doesn't sell that. But, um, at least not yet anyway. But you can find them on her store, on her website at countrycraftcreations.com. And I'm also, in this um, album, the second one I'm making, I'm using her red artisan cardstock, which I think is perfect for a fall-themed album. So there we go. And that's it, guys. I mean, super simple. So all I did was do scrapbook layouts. And you know where I um, got my ideas for my scrapbook layouts? Pinterest. I mean, that's, that's where they came from. Um, I just kind of took larger scrapbook layout ideas and scaled them down to whatever size I needed them for and of course um, what I did is I took and cut my pattern paper down now in the backgrounds I use kind of like a generic not a super busy pattern um, something that I can layer lots of busy patterns on top of so for this one for example this is going to go here and I cut it down to eight by eight inches and then I would do my layout on this page and a lot of times I did my layout on the page and then I glued the whole thing down once I was done um, I just felt like it was easier to work with that way so I will tell you really quick the paint that I used if you have this paint and you want to do the journal pages I used the London blue the polished jade and the funky fuchsia in the dilutions paint collection to do mine and the way I applied it is oh here I have I have the ones for this album already um, made so I took these foam paint I think you can get these at like Walmart and I just dipped it in the paint and then I um, dipped it on like a rubbed it off a little bit on a paper plate and then I just did this and that's literally all I did and so to make these pages I made let's see I purchased this on Amazon this is just a mixed media large hundred sheet pad and I cut them so they come like this and you just tear them off so the measurements for these is sorry I'm kinda all over the place with this one aren't I so for this one I used you would cut six sheets at eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter and then cut six sheets at eight and a quarter by eight and three quarters and then I scored them on the eight and three quarter of an inch side at half an inch you'll see where I put them together so there's my hinge and I just put them together so I just folded on the hinge and I didn't leave one to show you guys I'm sorry about that um, but I just put them together like a booklet just like you would almost like a base page except for you won't glue the second half down if that makes sense so and then I did two sets of those and added them in to a booklet and then I'll attach those so since we're talking about that I want to go ahead and show you guys how I did that I already have my other base page made to go in this album So. How I added the signatures is super easy. On this one, I'm going to use twine, um, but you'll have to have your outside cover decorated before you add these. You don't have to have your pages in. So um, I'm going to use twine on this one because it's a fall album. And all I did was take a length loose and I added it here and then I wrapped it around here and then it'll come back up and I'm gonna wrap it up the middle that's where my signatures are gonna go and then I'm gonna wrap it again 
here. See, so I have my three areas for my signatures, and then it's going to go on the back. I'm going to take the link that I started with, and I'm going to tie this off. And then I'll tie all of the signatures together. So let me go ahead and just cut this because I now I know how much I'm going to need. And you can do it kind of tight. It's okay. So what I'm going to do is take these. I'm going to put this one under here. And I'm just tie it. So it's as simple as that. Just like that. Actually, I want them all tied together, so I'm going to have to put this one under here, too. And then I'll tie them. Does that make sense? Anyway, I tie them all together. Mine's kind of clustered right now, because I'm doing it strangely, because I don't really actually want to tie this. So what I'm going to do is just do a little bow, whereas you would normally just tie it in a knot. and that's how you add them. So when you go to add your signatures, say these are already done, I'm going to do some stamping on these, but all I did is I just lifted this up, slid these underneath here carefully, like so, and you do have to kind of work them through. Now I did mine when I had all my pages in and everything, but it's probably easier to do this before you put your pages in. And there they are. So it's really easy. That's all you do. And then if you decide you don't want them anymore, you can just slip them out, and you can cut the strings off, and then you have a book. So really super easy. So that's how I did that. I also kind of wanted to go over with you guys how to do some of the layouts. Um, so for example, on this one, I already told you I just layered cardstock on there, or the pattern paper. These, I cut the pattern paper to two inches by two inches, and then I just layered them on here. And I actually, for the little pieces, I glued the piece on here, and then I just trimmed it all off the top when I was done. So it was all, looks like it's going off the page. That's super easy. That's all I did there. So for these booklets, I already have, I do have that here to show you. I've cut them at, did I not score them? Page three booklet. You're going to cut one at four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So which one is probably this one? Four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And then cut two at four and three quarters by six and a quarter, which is probably these two. Let me score these right quick. And you're going to score on the four and three quarter of an inch side at half an inch. And I've done actually this technique with you guys before, so you might recognize it if you're familiar with my albums. So to make the fold out, what I'll do is take the four and a quarter by six and a quarter base, fold on your score lines and burnish for the other two. And then what I do is I stack them together with the hinges facing each other. And then I'll add my glue onto the hinges here. And then I'll take this and then just layer it right on top 
of this four and a quarter by six and a quarter sheet. You just have to be careful to make sure that it all stays together, which is sometimes tricky. Okay. So it opens up like this, and then it opens up like this. And what you'll do is if you're using twine or whatever you're using to close it, I don't want to, I don't like using magnets all the time. So what I would do is add my seam binding or twine, whatever. I would glue it down on the back here before I added it to my page. And that way you can tie it right here, just like I have mine tied. And that's where that comes from. So that's how you do that page. Let's see, can I tell you anything else? Those are basic. These booklets, that's what I wanted to go over. So how I made these booklets, and you know, they flip open like this, is I took, and of course I didn't score them ahead of time. I don't know what my problem was, like I normally do. This piece is cut to six and a quarter by eight and a half and score on the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter. I'm gonna go ahead and, I went ahead and cut two, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut and score two. And then you're gonna need two pieces also cut at four and three quarters by six and a quarter. Score on the four and three quarter of an inch side at half an inch for each of those. And this will make two booklets, which is what I did. So you take your first book and you're just going to fold right here. So that gives you your first layer. And then we're just going to add another one right on top. So take the four and three quarter by six and a quarter one, fold on your score line and burnish. Add your glue. And then just stick it up to the top. Just lining it up. And there you have your booklet. And then I closed mine with the swing tab. You could use a magnet or even another ribbon closure if you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the other one since I already have it here. I'm gonna fold on my score line for my little booklet and then fold on my score line for my additional page. I'm gonna add it. here. And it's super easy. It's really not a whole lot of fancy um, paper folding in this album. It just looks fancy when you do the, you know, the formal scrapbook layouts which I do like doing the layouts just because on on a sheet like a mini album area like this, you're not going to get more than one by four by six photo on here anyway. So why not jazz it up and make it look really pretty instead of just putting a single sheet of pattern paper down there for you to just stick a photo on top of. So I like doing these layouts to really make it pop off the page a little bit. And that way you get to see all of the beautiful papers that come in the collection. This one had a really, a lot of cute ones. So I'm just gonna go through here and make sure there's nothing else I need to give you guys. Um, I showed you how to do these. Here I just glued it down on the four sides and stuck the tag in, so super easy. And I just did it at the paper at a diagonal. So that one's really easy. These were, again, the six by six cut aparts in the collection, so that's what I use there. And let's see. 
this was just done with scraps and so was this. All I did was just take scraps and layer them and just make sure the space between them was even. And then I went off the page again like I did before. And I actually did this whole piece by itself and then I glued the whole thing onto this page is what I did. And all of these squares were two by two inches. So it was super easy. And let's see. These I did at, if you want to create this look again, if I find, here it is. I cut the pattern paper to six inches by one and a half. And so I did the border behind it at six and a quarter by um, one and three quarters and then I just staggered them on the page and tried to get even spacing in between them. I didn't measure that at all, I just guessed. And then I stuck a photo mat on top. And that's it. It was a really easy book to create. Uh, like I said, I just kind of looked on Pinterest for ideas like this and um, I saw it on someone else's scrapbook page so I decided to try to duplicate it and that's how it turned out and I think it's just turned out great. So I hope you like the album and I hope you make one and try using the traditional type scrapbooking elements in your mini albums. I think um, it looks great and I do miss doing traditional scrapbooks because I used to do the 12 by 12 just like everybody else, you know, as that's how we started and I got into mini album making and so I like to just be able to combine the two and then I've always had a love for journaling and um, I've journaled all my life even when I was a kid and so I really love having this idea where for a, an album like this, if you use this particular, this is that collection in here you can use these spaces to paste the party invitation here. You can do a guest list. You can do your party planning in here. Um, you can you can even put photos on top of here. It doesn't have to be journaling or, or things like that. It can just be um, just anything about the party, the gifts that were received, any special events that happened can all go in these pages and um, I think it would just turn out great. So let me know if you like it. Thanks for watching.